Good afternoon students, this is teacher Roberto and for week two um, this is a review unit about WA questions um, but before jumping to uh, that uh, unit we have a speaking activity um, which in which you have to introduce one of your friends right um, I have given you a couple of questions using, of course, WH questions because that's the topic that we're going to be uh, discussing this week. So the first question is, who is your best friend? Where did you meet that friend? What is your friend like? What are your friend's best qualities? How is your friend similar or different from you? These are the questions that I want you to answer when you are speaking. Here I have provided um, some vocabulary that you can use. Um, funny, emotional, trustworthy, mischievous, moody, caring, crazy, ambitious, negative, easygoing, lazy, daring, shy, positive, reliable, boring, kind, Honorable, sensitive, modest, happy, helpful, friendly, flexible, and stingy. Right? So these are the words that you're going to be using. You don't have to use all of them. But um, you have to talk for at least, you know, uh, probably 30 seconds. Make sure that when you are speaking you include these questions in your speaking right try to uh, fill this out you can uh, make this diagram on a piece of paper and then you can use these ones to to prepare your script uh, right for example who is your best friend my best friend is um, Anna uh, I met Anna in KFC um, Anna is uh, funny, emotional, um, and very ambitious, and positive, and she's sometimes sensitive. In that way, you can, you know, talk about your friend. This is our first speaking activity. Our second activity, which is also related to WH questions, uh, is this one, answer question. But before going or jumping to that, I will explain briefly what um, or the WH questions that I'm going to include and the use that we have to give those questions when we are speaking. What, what normally asks for objects or animals? For example, what is on the table? What animal is that? Who asks for people? Who is she? Who is your mother? Which, which asks for choices normally? Which fruit would you like to eat? Mango or pear? You see, two choices, two fruits. How? Ask for processes to get something done. How do you go to school? I go to school by bus. That is a process, right? Why? Ask for explanations. Why are you late today? Normally we answer with because there was a traffic jam. This is how we answer when we use why. Normally we use because. Where? Where ask for places. Where do you live? Where are you going? Where are you from? So, this is a basically a general picture of the use of WH question of the basic ones that I'm going to be covering in this review unit. Our second activity is answer the questions. Um, uh, you're going to answer this question, who is she? Where is she from? What is the color of her eyes? What does she do? And etc. You can also make your own questions. You can probably make two or three more questions um, about this um, this uh, celebrity 
now we are moving on to our um, third speaking activity as you can see we have a picture of a famous boxer and um, I have here given you a question what you have to do here is you have to ask questions and then you have to give the answer of that question why was he one of the best boxers of the world because he was disciplined and trained hard. If you don't know much about um, Roberto Duran, you can research, you can Google and read about him so that when you make questions, you know, you have um, a better understanding of who, of whom he is and what he did. Um, you have to uh, use questions with what, who, where, how, when, and why, whose, you can also make questions with those as well. Try to make the question and then give answers to those questions. For example, what is the color of his eyes? The answer, the color of his eyes, um, is, uh, I would say, uh, brown, brownish. Right? This is just an example. Um, now, or third or fourth speaking activity is here we have a classroom a picture of a classroom around it we have uh, several questions your job is to answer these questions right and i'm gonna pick a person randomly in our zoom meeting and that person has or should um, um, give me the answer of those questions right for example um, where is the flag? The flag is on the wall, right? Or the flag is between the teacher and Tim. This, this is another possible answer that you can give. Be creative to answer. Um, um, if you want to make questions as well, you are more than welcome to. Um, this is our uh, another speaking activity that uh, we are going to have um, uh, in class. Um, if, if you can interview one of your classmates, that's wonderful. But if you can find somebody to interview or talk with, um, you can use your personal information and fill or answer these questions with your personal information. Uh, my, my, for example, who do you live with? Uh, when is your birthday? How old are you? Where do you live? Where were you born? What type of movies do you like? What do you do in your free time? Uh, what is your favorite subject? Why is it your favorite subject? You don't have to answer all of these ones, but at least try to pick five or, or four or five questions um, so that you are ready to speak. Right? So. If you have any question about these activities, uh, please let me know and I'll be more than glad to answer your questions. Um, you can also go ahead and check the materials that I uploaded on Edmodo, uh, which include um, more uh, explanation and more practices um, about WH questions. So you are ready, when, ready for speaking because you are going to be speaking more than I do in every Zoom meeting. So be ready to speak and see you tomorrow. Bye.